That's 1-800-869-0981. A hair that isn't his. Is there another woman in dance life? No, oh, it's mine. Roseanne. <laughs> Next, I laugh. You know you want to. It's Drew Carey's annual. A nice hat for. What's wrong with this episode? Bridge, I'm ready for my next scene. A show full of monkey business. I don't care how talented he is, he's still a monkey with a toilet brush. How many bloopers can you find? Found a lot of mistakes in the Drew Carey show. Wait a second. I'm not supposed to know this. It's another one. Drew Carey. Thursday night, 6, 5 Central. I'm laughing. You know you want to. Um... I'm Rebecca Connors, Mom. I'm here to see the principal. He'll be right with you. Please, take a seat with the other mothers. Finger? We're all fingers over here. Roseanne Harris? I used to be. Well, I don't believe it. Neither do I. What is it, 15 years? It's at least that long. Isn't this weird running into each other, especially at the principal's office? I'll tell you what's really weird. Good. I don't have the foggiest idea of who you are. Anne Marie. Dixon? <laughs> it's a mental note. What, did you marry Chuck? You met Chuck? <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought? You. Remember that real good-looking blonde guy that took me to the junior dance? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he dumped me. I ended up with Dan Connor. He does give this show a, a kind of distinction. I think this show is, you know, this show is getting more popular all the time, more stations. And because you're introducing, I don't know how to answer this question. Oh. Because, the, I knew there was something wrong when I got a compliment to, on the show. Betty's going to say, probably, politics. Uh, but we have recently been in total agreement. Aha. The Watergate did one thing, it brought us together. Yes. Uh, but we are politically opposed, and we have also we have certain different philosophies about young people. And once you start, you're in it for life. Leave. I would. Yeah. I mean, leaving out of this world. <laughs> but I, I gotta do it right now. And if I gotta do it this way, this is the way I'm gonna make it. It's a business to be into right now. The way the economy's going. This is what's in. Boston and cities on the East Coast are the final destination for some drugs. But cities like Minneapolis, St. Paul profit off being a hub for drug trafficking. They are at a crossroads. Heroin and cocaine come in on the I-94 from Chicago and also from California and Arizona. And then there's a direct route up the I-35 corridor from Mexico straight to the heart of the Twin Cities. However the heroin gets in, there's only one organization overseeing the supply. The primary command and control of the heroin market right now in our region is the Sinaloa cartel led by Chapo Guzman. He controls the price. He's controlling the purity. Chapo Guzman is Mexico's top drug kingpin. His Sinaloa cartel uses a network of wholesalers embedded in local Hispanic communities. When the cartel decides to expand into an area, they flood it with very cheap and very pure heroin to create a market of addicts. But law enforcement continues to fight back. 
HSI undercovers and DE agents also bag Jesus Zambada Niebla, one of the highest ranking members of the Sinaloa cartel. He faces prosecution in the U.S. and is accused of trafficking more than a billion dollars of cocaine and heroin into Chicago alone. To combat law enforcement, the cartels use local white dealers like Ace as front men to shield them from prosecution. When you first start meeting up with them, they won't do cash exchange. You can't give them cash. They come by and they'll front it to you. And they'll, find like a, they'll find you like three ounces of it. You know, it's like, sure, dude, I got the money. They say, no, no, it's fine. We know you live. We know you live. We know you, we know you live for it. And it's like, that's, that's intimidating. I mean, you're giving them the money back after that. Like, it's, yeah, they're crazy, man. The cartel. There, there is some people you don't want to mess with. Discover an unexpectedly wondrous movie about the power of friendship and imagination. 